Hello guys, have a nice day. I'm here, I'm back. Uh, today, I will I would like to give you an update about the chart of XRP, XRP versus USDT or what we call as Ripple, Ripple chart. Naisipan ko siyang, is, uh, by the way guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button below in the screen so you can watch my upcoming videos to be posted. Bakit ko ba siya na isipan na i-chart? Kasi kung i-zoom in natin siya, I mean, i-zoom out or basta, we can find that this is the previous resistance and the price successfully hold 0.7040 or point, it could be 0.70. The price successfully hold that price and now it break my resistance line which was draw I draw this line maybe months ago at point 80 and uh, this candle on August 7 it break above point 80 while the next candle on August 8 it goes down but the next candle uh, while the next candle open lower which is the candlestick of August 9th open here open at 0 0.77 0 0.7788 it goes down but the price did not break the support uh, support line this one this is the support line and it managed to close above 0 0.80 which is at uh, close at 0.8170 so now the latest candle is here this one this is not yet finished and uh, based on this if we analyze this uh, candlestick movement the price may be going upward and if we look in the lower time frame uh, maybe let's go directly to one hour chart and if we look into this one hour time frame the price uh, is having a constant retest of this uh, this area area of uh, 0.8070 or it could be 0.8050 or 8050 but the price managed to go up it is uh, the price is keen on breaking below this 0.8070 area although there are times that the price break below but it still managed to go up and this it also made a resistance a lower resistance of 0.8144 but this price has been broken And now this one, this red candle, the latest one, is uh, trying to test this price if this really hold. I mean, if the price really hold to this uh, area. So 0.8147 or it could be 0.8145. So if this price successfully hold this. Uh, if the price successfully fall this area of uh, 0.8145 then we can expect the price be soon to break this uh, 0.8279 and my recommendation now is to, is to buy the latest price and put your cut loss below uh, below 0.8050 or it's up to you if you put your price below uh, 8060 you can have to choose that but my recommendation is put your cut loss at 0.8050 and also those people who can accept a, a bit higher percentage of losses but not so much high 
uh, I may recommend to put your cut loss below 0.80 here. 0.80. So it's up to you if you put your cut loss below 0.80 or below 81. I mean below 8050. Why I make a uh, why I recommend two cut loss points? It is because uh, we cannot really pinpoint where the area. I mean, we cannot really pinpoint where the price uh, really go. We can only expect, I mean, we can only expect that the price will go to that area or to that level, but we cannot really, uh, we can only speculate, but we cannot uh, expect exactly. But this area is good to cut. 0.8050 is a good area to cut your losses uh, the other reason why I also recommend to put your uh, cut loss point at 0 0.80 it is because this area is a uh, month long resistance so I hope you understand my point and I do hope that you can find this video interesting and if you like this video please click like and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe so you can watch my uh, upcoming videos to be posted. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.